You know, I do have some coffee here, but I know the second that... Yes, of course, it's just going to go straight to this. All right, so, like I said, we got to make a mad double dash to the door back to where Julie Langford was murdered violently in front of our eyes. So now, okay, Rosie's good to go. Now we've got some security boss to contend with because Andrew Ryan is a grade-A asshole, and so we're going to have to take care of these things. And I'm, I kind of want to get these while we're here because it's not very often we're going to see these security boss throughout the course of the game. So might as well get them all, get the regular thing here. I'm probably going to shut them off, but actually there's something I kind of want to show you guys. So we're going to book it and uh, get away. So now we've got the hypnotized big daddy. Uh, yeah, protect us like you would a little sister. Oh, God damn it. I got hit with something there. Okay. So run over here, and I think there's actually going to be... Yes, there's an asshole just chilling out here. And we got ourselves a security... Yes, here it is. The bot shut down. All right. So for $20, we'll be able to get rid of those, which just completely destroys the point of it. If you wanted to, you could just make it a mad sprint back, but I want the big daddy with me, even though I think he does disappear once we Yeah, there he is. So he's our buddy now. This is our big daddy buddy. Oh, man. He's, he's just going to be tagging along for a while. I mean, just just look at him all complacent and shit. Okay, so now we just have to we have to head back through uh, the farms. He's, he's just going to... I think there's... Uh, okay, I don't know. Some of this stuff, usually some of this stuff does end up changing a little bit, but I'm surprised how little it has, so. Anyway, back to Rolling Hills, and we're probably going to have another Big Daddy show up here. There's also probably another splicer? I guess not. Um, okay, I guess nothing here. So, anyway, just run on through back to the room where Julie, god damn it, this asshole. Okay, you know what? You get some liquid nitrogen to the face because <laughs> I need to get rid of some of that. Whoa, Big Daddy, buddy! God, talk about useful. Okay, so yeah, right after I said I'm not going to use it, go ahead and use it like 20 million times before <laughs> before we even switch to another weapon. All right, so back over here, there should be a big daddy that just roams around here just for funsies. So back at the link for labs. All right, you know what? I think I'm actually going to take this because some enemies do use it, so I'm going to buy you out for $45 because I'm a cheap ass like that. Okay, and oh, there's the big daddy right there. But, uh, yeah, let's hack that, and let's see what we got. We'll pick up a shit ton of stuff here, so this might not entirely be necessary. Um, uh, I think I think we're good, actually. Let's, there we go. Okay, so I think that other one probably did end up disappearing because I don't hear him behind me. We do get hypnotized Big Daddy, you know, one and two, but it's not really that useful. And we still have Insect Swarm, which I completely forgot about. Might as well make it go to good use here since I think there's an enemy here sometimes. It's not very good, so I only really bought it for the novelty factor. So anyway, hey, lady, what the, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so she's just gonna get swarmed by bees there, and is she gonna die? Yep, she's gonna make me have to use that. All right, well, fine, works for me. You're dead regardless, and we got a bunch of bees in here now, and then we have the body of Julia Lankford still there, untouched. Okay, so we're good with this. Now we just have to put the thing in the wait. Oh my god! <gasps> They've reunited at last. The rosy and rosy lovers in hand. Oh, how beautiful. What a beautiful sight. If only I didn't have to be against such a dreary backdrop. This this love could flourish into something beautiful. Ah, fuck it. Let's get out of here because now we gotta set up a defense. Believe it or not. Ah, <sighs> great. I don't know. It's probably gonna take a couple waves of enemies, but right over here, just they're gonna start coming out of nowhere, so might as well get ready for them. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so over here, we're gonna close the door, although this obviously is going to do nothing. Okay. So. Whoa! Where'd you come from, you prick? Okay. So. Oh, thank you. So, all right, I'll pick that up before I leave, I promise. All right, so Big Daddy, where are you? <laughs> I want you to come over here. Now, you'll, the hypnotized Big Daddy plasma does actually end up taking uh, your entire uh, Eve, Eve meter, so just keep in mind that regardless of how much you have, you'll still be able to use it to its full effect, but it will drain it if it's completely full, so it might be a good idea just to wait. So we're just going to wait here, and we got ourselves a... <laughs> hey, uh, you kind of got something on your pants there, man. I, I, I like that you don't really care about that, but you're with me, man. Okay, so show a little respect. So with the perfectly placed frag grenade, we should be able to take out, I think, all three of these assholes when they come through the door. All right, so there, and then you just wait a second, and... Oh, shit, that might have been too early. 
Uh, actually, no, that was perfect for some reason. I guess it just was see-through, so. Anyway, okay, so now that that's done, we've got ourselves basically a hoedown showdown in the Langford Labs. So, we're gonna have to deal with that when the time- MOVE! Asshole, god. Okay, so, oh, wow, that wasn't too bad. We're gonna have to use some of those proximity mines, I'm fairly certain, but we're just gonna be waiting for some enemies to come, and god damn it. Alright, so Houdini Splicer, and so he, he will be of not minimal use per se, but it's better to have him on our side rather than what happened there. We do the old time rock and roll, sans the Bob Seeger, I don't know. But, um, he can hurt us regardless of him being our buddy or not, so you need to be careful about the big daddy buddy. Because he will hurt you. Alright, where are these assholes? Am I gonna have to use this? I hope I hope not. Okay, fine. Oh, I missed. Oh, I still got him! Oh, but he's still not dead. Oh, oh, oh. Why'd I do that? I feel like I'm thinking gone. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, he's he's, he's gone placid, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I just kinda wanna wait for the next one, but I'm Oh my god! He, look at him, he's so seared. Oh, poor buddy. Did we hurt him? I hope we didn't. I can't see my plasmids, but I <laughs> just sprayed jizz on his face, so we're good. Okay, so enemies should be spawning again anytime soon, please. Because I would like to use some of my health. Oh, <laughs> okay, there they are. Okay, whoa, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. And this asshole. Yes, God, I love it when they do the twirly twirl of death in midair. All right, anyone else? Ooh, won't you? Okay, good. I didn't want to smash my buddy in the face there. How did he get burned? How did it get burned? How did it get burned? How did it get burned? Great. Okay, so he's dead. Right, and so are you. Wait, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we gotta put you down, man. All right, I'm sorry. I don't think our hypnot. Yep, I don't think it can help. All right, I'm sorry we have to do this, but we gotta put you down, man. Oh, man. No, I want these grenade launcher. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, right here. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just, it's it's for your own good, man. It's better to have you dead than against me. Yeah! Oh, nope. I, why did it switch to the shotgun? I want the grenade launcher. Okay, there we go. Grenade launching for days. Frag out! Ah, yep, and... There we go. Is he dead? Are they all dead? Most of them are dead. All right, time to go shotgun rain on these assholes. God damn it, there are so many of them, but I love it. Oh, man, I'm so sorry I had to kill the Rosie. Oh, man. Okay. Wow, and there's still people here. See, I kind of like the... <laughs> just the pure combat is, is very entertaining as well. And it's not, like, completely archaic, but it's not, like, anything you see today nowadays. Or else it's just considered dated. Holy shit. God damn it, my gun is so weak. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to upgrade my shotgun next because the fucking... Ugh, it's being so irritating. God damn it, okay. Ugh. And the kickback on this thing is fucking annoying. But I guess we're still killing bitches, so. Ugh. Die! No! No, don't reload! Okay, electric buck time, please put an end to these assholes. Alright, where are you, Houdini Splicer? You're right there, you're dead now. And I heard a ding, so. Oh, hey! Yes, okay. You know, I'm waiting for all these Houdini Splicers to piss the fuck off so that we can just continue on with our quest. Oh man, alright, I think we're good. Now, these bodies are disappearing, and there's no big rosy daddy body around. <laughs> we can't even, we can't even put him to rest, God damn it. Okay, here, we're good on health now. Because that one body, I think, gave us three. This one, right over, yeah, he gave us a shit ton of stuff, God damn it. Uh, this, this that was fun, that was fun, it was, a, it was a good, like, holdout, I would say. Okay, so, uh, is it, I don't... Did the big daddy body just like fly off or something? Because it's not here anymore. It's not here. Oh, god damn it. Why for the. Oh, hey! Someone died trying to use that thing that I spent $45 to make our buddy. Oh, man. All these, all these have been looted to capacity. Huh. Okay. That's, that's, that's good for me, I suppose. See, some of the bodies do disappear and then they leave lock boxes around, which is kind of strange, but I don't. I don't see one. I don't think big daddies leave draw boxes. I think they just do nothing. Like when you use a gift from the little children, from the little girl, from the little sisters, and and you use those, then they don't come back. They disappear even if you're full up on first aid kits. So here we can go and I guess start it. <laughs> Dinner's on. Who wants hot pockets? Oh hey, look, everything's coming to life again. Oh man, she totally did it. Yes. So the Lazarus Vector brought all this shit to life. Julia Langford, god damn it, you are a genius, I must say. I must say, well done, lad. You should take a look at your work because it's it's quite astounding. It's, it's a great monumental achievement in the science of fieldography. So 
Let's get out of here. Shall we? Yes, let's. Oh, so that's that was basically chapter 8 right there, technically. There's another chapter later on that I guess is shorter than this where you don't even fight anyone, but I don't really consider that a chapter. Like, this one is just the completioning of Arcadia. So, anyway, we can get out of here because apparently another Big Daddy replaced our Big Daddy buddy. Unfortunately, like I said, we had to put him down for all the wrong reasons. All right, so... Now we just have to head out the one door that we were at before, so through rolling hills in far, far away, no one else will have spawned, I think. And, oh, there's another Big Daddy, so it's like, it's like, it's gone full circle. So we can go to Rapture Metro, but is there actually one more thing? What the hell? There's a handbag here, and what the, oh, it's a corpse, okay. Well, we're pretty much good to go now for this entire next part, which I love, by the way. It's awesome. Why are you so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a mm -hmm. man from his soul? You're not CIA, are you? Maybe. You belong to Atlas, the one roach I can't seem to exterminate. Don't worry. I just need time to find the proper poison. Oh, okay. Well, we got another thing here, anyways. And oh my God, we got, we got a gift, you guys. I hey. No god, no invisible man in the sky. Uh. But there is something more powerful than each of us—a combination of our efforts, a great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. Yeah, you don't the chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck. Yes. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, off to Fort Frolic. I really like this place for some reason. I don't know why. It's it's like a mall, pretty much. Like, that's what I've always associated with. And I I kind of want to just do it right now. But at the same time, I'm kind of tired. And I don't want to be like... Bleh, 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 bleh. So, yeah, let's just keep going right now. I don't, I don't even care. This will be the end of that video. See you guys in Fort Frolic in the next part. <sighs>